Kia ora. Welcome to the Theatre Royal. I'm Kate Harcourt. And I'm Helen Mulder. And I'm Mark Hadlow. Dame Kate, Helen and myself have the pleasure of being patrons of the Theatre Royal Whakatū Nelson. The Theatre Royal is the oldest functioning wooden theatre in Australasia. Built in 1878, it's withstood time and constant changes, but it's still a jewel in Nelson's crown. Between 2006 and 2010, it was extensively refurbished and is an excellent example of how a Class A heritage building can be preserved and adapted. It's now a state-of-the-art venue that will remain fit for purpose for years to come. So join we three on a quick tour of the beloved Theatre Royal and we'll show you many of the nooks and crannies, hidden spaces and heritage highlights. These weatherboards are the original outside of the theatre and you can still see some of the layers of paint from previous paint jobs. Oh, and this is one of the original gas lamps that would have lit your way around the theatre. The theatre's modern fly tower system suspends lights, curtains and backdrops over the stage. Each of the 44 bars use a counterweight principle with steel weights balancing out the load of the object over the stage. It can be raised or lowered by a single person. As we travel down the stairs and through corridors, we pass the various dressing rooms and backstage facilities before arriving in what we call the upstage right wing. Across the stage and past the operating ropes is the technical dimmer room. This is the electrical heart of the venue's lighting and sound systems. This is the original heritage part of the building, the auditorium. These are the original floorboards. That's not a draft coming through, that's our modern air conditioning. Now, these are the original colours. Uh, they were discovered under layers of paint and plaster and hessian scrim. During the restoration, some of the embossed and hand-painted wallpaper was discovered. Uh, new moulds were made and they helped replace missing bits. The auditorium comfortably sits 340 patrons, although on opening night in 1878, nearly 1,000 of Nelson's 6,000 settlers were in attendance. And this was the only toilet. <laughs> <laughs> the masks of comedy and tragedy. Now, they have always been associated with the theatre, but they were never part of the original building, as this photo from 1901 confirms. They were added in the latter part of the 20th century. Jolly good, though. This is one of the two royal boxes. Other than some gorgeous drag queens, no royalty has ever sat here, as far as we know. They're definitely not the best seats in the house, though. Those are traditionally in the dress circle. If you've ever wondered why it's called the dress circle, it's because the seats are in curved rows. Oh. And also, the patrons were expected to be dressed up. No shorts and candles allowed. <laughs> <laughs> Being the best seats in the house, they were also the most comfortable. Because in the early days, down the stairs, the people had to sit on wooden benches. Mm. Something very special in heritage about these seats. Now, these frames actually uh, came out of an old English theatre, and they were shipped from the UK to New Zealand in 1902. Uh, another prominent feature that you can see from here are the original screen printed uh, cornices. Now, during the restoration, uh, the old designs were painstaking and beautifully recreated. This is one of the many examples of the, of the craft and skill that has preserved this beautiful theatre. 
the Theatre Royal is a perfect combination of old and new, maintaining the heritage part of the building alongside the fit-for-purpose new additions. So this view, we all know so well, will be here for many more generations.